audience now, uh, since we have you here, Rabina, Agnes has a question about co-sleeping. It's always a very uh, hot topic with a lot of our viewers. So Agnes, what would you like to ask Rabina? Well, I currently sleep with my son. He's two years old and I would really love to have him placed in his own bed, his own crib. Okay, so what should she do? Ooh. How does she make that transition? Because it is a really tough thing as a parent. You want to get some sleep and your child wants to sleep with you and you just sort of, you know, you give in. So. And I'm going to guess dad wants his space back too. Well, who knows? <laughs> Maybe Agnes just wants to be able to flip and flop a little bit or yeah. spread eagle every once in a while, right? Okay, so you know what? Let me tell you, co-sleeping, it can be very sensitive. And I'll be honest with you, it can go very, very wrong. I don't want to alarm you, but the longer you've slept with, a child mm -hmm. the harder it is to make the transition because when you've done anything with a child for two years straight making that change can actually be quite traumatic and quite tough mm -hmm. but there are some things that you know you can do to make it a little easier so one of the things I would suggest is having the crib beside the bed let's not move the baby out of your bed into a crib straight in the nursery because that's too many changes at once and I, I know firsthand having worked with families it can traumatize the child a lot so do it slow don't be in a hurry mm -hmm. step by step so I would I would suggest that first of all the evening not just nap time and I'll tell you why it has to be in the evening you you encourage your toddler to go into the crib because he's gonna fight you the chances are he's gonna scream blue murder for mm -hmm. quite some time if you do it at nap time that nap time is going to be missed because it's just going to be spent time fussing. You're going to have to set him down to bed earlier knowing that this little guy is going to struggle and fight with you for probably an hour, maybe two hours. You know, some children never done it before, learn to project vomit three feet across the room at this point. Whoa. They've never done that before. Mm -hmm. And the key is you've got to clean him up, calm him down, put him back in and start again. It's not to keep giving in. You've got to know when you step forward and you do this that you're going to see it through. Mm -hmm. There's no point in you putting your child through that and saying, I can't do this, cave in and bring him back to your bed because that's wrong. Okay, if you're going to do it, you've got to see it through. Okay, all the way to the end. So all what about her going to his bed and sleeping in his bed with him? Well, once you make that transition, you can. But right now, I would suggest that because he's been in her room, yeah. we put the bed, the crib beside the bed. Then eventually, you take the crib to his nursery. You can stay there until he's adapted to new surroundings. Mm. And then you would slowly come out of his room. Got you know, it. but yeah. Okay, all right. I hope that helps a bit, Agnes, and thanks for the advice.